Hey, what's going on guys? It's Push to Insanity and what you guys are watching today is going to be another 3D intro template. So I provided you guys the background that was used in the template. So if you guys don't have those plugins that were used to create this background, you guys can simply drag this file onto your After Effects project and you guys will get that background effect. You guys are also provided with the music, the shockwaves and the materials that were used in the template. So the first thing you guys want to do is go to your Cinema 4D folder, which is located in your applications and open up your library and browser folder. And now all you guys got to do is place your texture file on into your browser folder and you guys will get the materials that were used in the template. So once you guys have done that, you guys can start opening up your Cinema 4D part of your intro. Select both your bottom mode text and change your bottom text to whatever you want. Do the same thing with your top text. Once you guys have edited your text, you guys can also change the font. So if your text is long like mine, you guys will notice that some of the letters are misplaced. To fix this, select your plane effector and go to where the keyframe is located, which is at 129 frames. And simply move the plane effector away from your text and hit the keyframe button. Once you guys have done that, go to your second keyframe, which is located at 96 frames and do the same thing. Move your plane effector away from your text and hit the keyframe button. However, I am going to save this intro template project so you guys don't have to do this step. So once you guys have fully finished editing your text, go to your render settings, save your intro to your own folder, and you guys can start rendering out your Cinema 40 part of your intro. So once you guys have fully finished rendering your Cinema 40 part of your intro, go ahead and open up your second part of your template, which is the After Effects part. So in the After Effects part, you guys are missing three files, two of them are the Shockwave, and the other one is the intro template render. The first thing you guys want to do is right click your missing files and replace the footage with what you guys are provided with in the download. So you guys are provided with the Shockwaves in the download. 
So simply locate that, import the shockwaves. Your shockwaves are located in the all files needed folder. So once you guys have finished replacing your missing files, go ahead and replace your intro template. When you guys render this intro template, you guys are going to do it as a PNG sequence. So all you guys got to do is open up the first picture file, which should be the PNG file with four zeros, and select PNG sequence. Once you guys do that, you guys will have your edited intro template with the shockwaves. If you guys don't have the plugins for the background, you guys will not have the background. And if you guys are missing the background, all you guys got to do is import the file that I've given you guys in the download, which is called background.mp4 and replace that file with where your original backgrounds are located, which is under your shockwaves, and you guys will get that background effect. So once you guys have finished that, go to composition, add your composition to your render queue, and you guys can render out your intro. If you guys like this tutorial and you guys wanna see more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.